All right, everybody, how you doing today? I have the LG Insight in hand here. This is a Windows 6.1, Windows Mobile 6.1 device, and it's a uh, was on AT&T. And we're gonna go ahead and clear the memory of this thing so we can pack it up and send it off or whatever. Now, whatever reason you might need to do a reset. So there's two ways to do that. We can either do a hardware key reset or we can go to start settings and go to the systems tab here. If you see right there, systems. And then there's clear storage. Click on that and it's gonna ask you for a password. That password by default, and I don't want this keyboard on, is come here keyboard there we go uh, this password is one two three four one two three four hit enter and it says to proceed master clear operation check each button and press clear button when select delete internal memory system will reset automatically so I could do that right here or I can just go ahead and do the hardware I'm not going to do this one but that's how you do it if you need to so to do a hardware reset first we're going to turn the device back off by holding down the end button here and it will prompt me to turn the device off yes I do and now we wait it'll be just a moment this was a really nice device a couple years ago or a year ago or whenever it came out but goodbye alright so to do a hardware reset you hold down the volume down and then on this side volume down here and then on this side you hold down the camera button so I'm gonna hold down both those at the same time and then I'm gonna hold down the end button and what should happen is it'll boot up and it will go through and it'll take just a moment we'll be here for just a moment now I can let off and it should come up here in maybe 30 to 45 seconds 6 one was really slow on booting and it should come up and give us the uh, align screen which will basically tell us it was a successful hard reset and we will wait and we will wait and there we go if this doesn't come up with the setup, then I let one of the keys off a little bit too early. But I believe that we got it that time because I didn't feel my fingers let off either of the keys. Once again, it's the volume down, the camera button at the same time, and the end button all at the same time. And we failed. This one failed. So we'll do this one more time. I knew that booted up a little bit too quick that time. I don't believe, I don't remember the device booting that fast in the past. I mean, from a, a warm start it did, but not from a cold start. So, goodbye again. We'll attempt this one more. I'm going to hold the left side down volume rocker and the right side camera button and the front right phone button. I'm going to keep pressing these keys until the LCD comes on and and there we go I'm gonna hold on to them just a little extra time here just because I failed that last one I just feel like all right I'll let off and we will wait and see again it's always good to do a factory reset on a device whether you're gonna store it for a long time because that battery might go dead and you won't have any way of getting it off of there if you lose your charger or whatever so if you know you're not going to use it for quite some time or you're going to sell it or take it back to the store no matter what device it is I don't think AT&T would take this one back today you definitely want to do a hard reset to prevent anybody from getting your valuable contact information or any details about you does not look like it worked this time either but we'll see I, th I felt like it should work this time I remember it was kind of finicky 
back in the day doing these hard resets you had to just make sure you had the buttons just right or it wouldn't work and this one's taken quite a bit longer to boot up this time so I believe I nailed it and we'll know here in just a moment right now behind the screen you know back in the background it's probably doing a lot of the bootloader stuff and reflashing the uh, internal memory with the actual OS and I think this was a 624 megahertz processor or maybe it was a 400 actually it probably was a 400 I can't remember it's been so long now but these are nothing like today's that are much faster okay tap the screen to set up your Windows Mobile Windows Mobile based device so I'll click there and then you do the align screen thing blah 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 and now we're done and it is completely reset all your data is gone if we go into email there wouldn't be anything nothing's there so anyway that is the LG Insight factory reset thanks for watching